I really like this music. Okay, so this is the episode that we're going to be cutting off early because I need to stop the recording as soon as I try to pass the turn because if I, well, honestly, I don't know what's going to happen if I try to pass the turn and the game crashes. I don't know what will happen to the recording, so I want to play it safe. So, here we go. Battlefield, here is the battlefield. This is your side. Oh, also, crap, completely forgot. I'm going to try to... I haven't gone back and watched the videos yet because I've been playing this all in one shot, so I don't know how my voice is coming through in the recording, but I'm going to try not to... I'm using a headset and the microphone is right next to my mouth, so I'm going to try to talk a little bit quieter than I've been talking because now that I think about it, I might have been like blasting your ears off or completely overshadowing the game, the game audio with my voice. So I will experiment with that and find what works best for me. But until then, <clears throat> this is your opponent's side. During each turn, a player may place one card on the battlefield or pass. Each deck has a leader. The leader grants you a special ability, which can be used only once during a battle. Trigger the special ability at any point by pressing square. Press X to select a card from your hand. Press X again to place it on the battlefield. My turn! Alright, wow. And so now that I was so upset because I couldn't actually read these cards before and I was curious what they actually said, because I'll bet it's really cool, but now I can do this! Fighting Frost. The best part about Frost, bodies of the Fallen don't rot so quickly. Anyway. Torrential Rain. Even the rain in this land smells like piss. <laughs> okay. That's lovely. Let's see. Redanian Foot Soldier. I've fled for Redania. I've killed for Redania. Damn it, I've even raped for Redania. <laughs> I probably shouldn't find that funny, but I do. I'm not sorry. I'm a little sorry. Good okay, wingy siege expert. You gotta recalibrate the arm by five degrees. Do what by the what now? <laughs> he is an expert. And then we have named characters here. I'm guessing these are actually characters from the past games, but I've never been good with names, so even if I did recognize their faces, I probably wouldn't remember their names anyway, but anyway. Sabrina Glevisy, the daughter of the Kedweni Wilderness. Huh, interesting. She is ranged. I guess she's a sorceress. Sheldon Skaggs. He's ranged? Is that a crossbow he's holding? It looks like a hammer or something. I was there, on the front lines, right where the fighting was the thickest. Because dwarves are Scottish, I suppose. Wait. Wait. Front lines right where the fighting was the thickest? Then why are you ranged? Maybe because he was where the fighting was the thickest and he's tired of it. Guess that would make sense. Siegfried of Denessel. We're on the same side, which uh, you'll realize this one day. Oh, is he Knight of the Burning Rose? Is he from the first game? Huh, don't recognize his name. Or his face. Kira Metz. Oh, she looks interesting. If I'm to die today, I wish to look smashing for the occasion. Aw, it's adorable. Hope this isn't boring you, but I really find this cool. Death Mold. This guy I remember. I once made a prisoner vomit his own entrails. Ah, good times. <laughs> Ballista. Usually we give him female names. Like Jenny? More like Bertha. <laughs> I can appreciate that. Okay. Let's see. Um, probably the most important thing is to have a strong front linesman. So, there we go. Total strength. The number on the left by your icon shows the current total strength of your units. The number on the right shows the total strength for that row. Both values are updated when a card is played. At the end of a round, the player with the highest total strength wins. <laughs> Passing. During your turn, you can pass by holding down triangle. Once you pass, you cannot play any more cards during that round. Your opponent can continue playing cards until he or she passes as well. 
You should pass when you are confident you can win with the units you already have in play, or to let your opponent win and save your cards for the next round. Yup. A round ends. Once both players have passed, the players then compare the total strength of their units to determine the winner. All cards on the battlefield are discarded, and both players' total strength is reset to zero. Opponent's turn. Wow, he looks mean. <laughs> I guess that's because he's in the Guardian. My turn. Cynthia. Can I... Can I read the card? No? I wanted to see what it said. Oh. Um. Alright, suppose... Let's, let's get some range going. Death mold. Such, just such a mean name, even. Death mold. Then hammer? Didn't quite read it. Um, siege! Alright, one of each. We win, right? Lightning frost. Well, what a dick. I'm still winning now, so ha. Uh, guy here. Bam. But Kana? What, what? Why is he ranged? He's holding a sword. Come on, card games. And I guess let's also put her. I don't know if there's any advantage to not putting all the strongest cards you have down, so we're just going to do that and see what happens, I guess. Still winning by quite a bit. Um, let's throw this on here. Our opponent has passed. Why would. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. That's... Oh, right. This is why I'm going to end the recording because when I try to pass, the game may crash, and I don't know what'll happen to the recording if that happens. So, I will end the recording here. I will try to pass. The game does not crash i will pick it right back up and we will all be happy happy joy joy if it does crash well then i guess we won't be playing any gwent until that problem is fixed so thanks again for watching haven't been saying that but sincerely thank you for watching it means a lot and he uh wish me luck on the pass i guess ta-ta